Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the roof of the dormer. This, most people find to be the most difficult part of the entire project. It's really quite simple. What we have to figure out is what the angle of this roof is tipped at an angle like this so that when we cut it, we get it to line up nicely with the roof. We want it to overhang the front of the dormer, just like these sections of roof down here overhang. Okay, so this is the way we're going to do this. We have two pieces. Uh, one of them is an inch and three quarter wide, the other one is two inches wide. You're going to start with the inch and three quarter piece. What you're going to do is you're going to line it up with the peak of the roof, okay, and you're going to slide it straight back. You don't want it tipped at a funny angle, you want it to go straight back, and you want it to bump into the roof right here. Once you have that done and you're lined up at the top, you're just going to reach underneath it and using the front of the dormer, you just draw a little mark on the back of your wood, and my little mark is right here. Okay? Now, I'm going to flip that over and come up to the top and kind of put it on the other side, and I'm going to slide that back. Make sure that it's straight. You don't want it tipped up at a really funny angle or down. You want it to be nice and straight, parallel with the sides of the dormer. Slide that back on the opposite side of the dormer, right here on the other side of the peak, until it touches the roof and then you're going to make a mark. Okay. Now, because we want an overhang, we're going to extend these two marks out about a quarter of an inch. We're going to make each one a quarter of an inch further out. Now, you can measure it or you can do it by eye as long as they're both the same. Once you have that done, you're just going to take a little straight edge okay, and you're going to play connect the dots on those two longer marks. Don't get confused and do use one of your shorter marks and one of your longer marks. Okay? Now we have that angle drawn on there. What we're going to do is we're going to cut that off. Once that's cut off, we should be able to set that on the house and have that touch that angle nicely and stick out a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and cut that off. All right. Now you can see that I have this piece cut and with that angle that we decided to use because of our measurements. We're going to put that on there. We're going to line that up nice and even with the top and make sure that it goes straight back towards the peak of the house. Okay. Now, the angle isn't perfect, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be covering that up with a shingle. That's just the closest, that's a simple way for us to get that angle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the face right along the peak thing and just dribble some right here on this corner. We don't want it to run down the side. And I'm going to put just a little bit on the back of the dormer piece. And I'm going to just set that in place. Now, when it comes to nailing this, okay, all I'm going to use is just a couple of nails and they can be the long ones to make sure that you reach, or they can be the short ones. Okay, it's not really going to matter. And I'm just going to shoot down into the bottom, to the side of the dormer, okay, above the opening. Shoot one in there. Make sure that, that, that it catches. And shoot another one in there, and then that one is set. Now I'm going to use the exact same process on this back side, but I'm going to use the wider piece. Okay, I'm going to set it in place, and I'm just going to follow along the ridge line here, and I'm going to bump it in to the roof, and I'm going to mark it, and then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to go back up here. This time I'm going to mark this side at the long measurement and then come back and change this one right here also to the longer measurement. Okay, use a straight edge and just connect the lines. Then we'll go over to the bandsaw and we'll cut this one. Okay, now we've got this one cut. We're just going to lay that on there, double check it, make sure it's flush with the front of the dormer right here, and that it sits flat, and it does. So once again, we're just going to put a little bit of glue 
along the front of the dormer here and along the roof line of the first piece that we put on. Put a little bit down here, not that it will hold terribly well, but it will do something for us. And then we can put a little bit back here on this edge for this piece. We set that in place. Okay, remember the most important places are the top of the dormer up here and the front of the dormer to make sure the overhang is even. Once we have that in place, we just take our nail gun and try to hold things in place. And we do it. And shoot a nail on the side. And then if you want to, you can shoot one into the roof. Kind of hold that in place. Okay, we let the glue dry and the dormer is now complete.